the moment, I am not on stage, <laughs> but that can change at any time. When Laquette Charnel Pringle arrives at the Stephen Sondheim Theater for the 2 p.m. matinee of Mrs. Doubtfire, she has no idea if she's going on stage. This Harlem mother of a two-year-old is what's called a practice swing, covering all the female parts in the ensemble of Mrs. Doubtfire. Pringle also understudies the role of Wanda, the social worker, which she went on to play with just an hour's notice. A bit of, of nerves, of course, that come with who am I going to be when I walk into the theater today, but there's also this incredible buzz of electricity that goes through your body, like just kind of waiting to know where you're going to go, and also just being available for whatever happens. It's it's kind of fun. It's, it's a bit like a thrill seeker. <laughs> Understudies and swings are the unsung heroes of Broadway in this Christmas COVID surge, allowing the show to go on. Just last Thursday, in the previews of The Music Man with Hugh Jackman, leading lady Sutton Foster tested positive for COVID, and her understudy, Kathy Voiko, a swing for eight roles, had to step in at the last minute to accolades from her leading man. Kathy, when she turned up at work at 12 o'clock, could have played any of eight roles? Eight roles. <laughs> it happened to be the leading lady. <laughs> With close to half of all Broadway shows canceling at least some performances in the lucrative week before Christmas, audience members are sympathetic and grateful for these understudies. As theater goers, we want to see Rob McClure, right? Yeah. However, <laughs> Whoever stands in for him, if somebody has to, would be delighted to see them. They're the backbone of theater. They, they, there would not be a show without them. It will be the easy 